Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical force forecast for the 29th of August. My name is Andrew Shinetsky, I am a technical analyst at Triumph and Fix, and as usual, we commence our forecast with the EURUSD currency pair. The price continued to fall and now is located near the level of support, the lower one the local consolidation 1.1068. Therefore, our previous scenario remains relevant. We may reckon a breakdown of this spark, which will be a great signal for opening short positions. The movement must be keen, confident, and supported by the large volume. A stop should be placed above the breakdown volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 100 points. So, with the euro, sales after the confident breakdown of the level of support. The pound. The price demonstrated an abrupt fall supported by the large volume and now is located inside the local range between two strong volume levels. They are the support 1.2052 and the resistance 1.2306. Therefore, the best solution with this instrument is just to wait for the exit of the price from this consolidation and only after that we can open new position. Furthermore, the breakout movement must be keen, rapid and supported by the large volume, which will be a more reliable signal for entering the market. While the price is located inside this range, we'd better stay out of the market. The yen. The same situation here as the price is still located inside the local consolidation between two strong volume levels. They are the support 105.12 and the resistance 107.60. Therefore, we can consider new positions only after the confident and abrupt exit of the price from it. Moreover, the movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more precise signal for entering the market. While the price is locked inside this range, we'd better stay out of the market. The Canadian dollar. The price resumed rising and now is trading. Now, the level of resistance, the upper limit of the local consolidation, 1.3333. Thus, we may reckon a scenario for its breakout, which will be a great signal for opening long positions. The surge must be abrupt and supported by the large volume, which will be a more secure signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed below the breakout volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 100 points. So, with the Canadian dollar, long positions after the constant breakout of the resistance level. The Australian dollar, the opposite situation here as the price continued falling and now is traded near the level of support, the lower boundary of the local consolidation 0.6714. Thus, we may consider a scenario of its breakdown, which will be a great bearish signal. The drop must be confident, rapid, and supported by the large volume. A stop should be placed above the breakdown volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 80 pips. So, with those trend dollar, short positions after the confident breakdown of the level of support. And our last instrument for today is gold. Nothing has changed here. The price continued rising, and now is testing the level of resistance. 1544.00. Thus, our previous scenario remains actual. We may reckon a breakout of this level, which will be a great signal for opening long positions. The movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more reliable signal for entering the market. A stop should be placed below the breakout volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 300 points. So is gold long position after the counter breakout of the level of resistance. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This technical indicator totally affirms our scenarios with the Euro, Canadian and Australian dollars and gold, which is a great additional signal. As with Yen and Pound, we can open new positions only after the sharp exit of prices from local consolidation. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. Take care. Bye-bye.